here we go I can hear you saying it already not another video about mods for the Eashin E010 no it's not quite that lots of people are buying these little quads brilliant little toys for 10 quid including their controller but what my concern is that's fine as it is when you convert it you tick all the electronics and the motors and you house them on a hoover craft um, I bought mine from drone junkies but you can make your own there's lots of people selling these so you've got the flight controller you've got the motors all mounted in this this housing and basically it becomes a hovercraft the problem with that is with the functions of the controller you've got throttle which is basically forward and steering all on your left stick I've worked out a way to hack the circuit board on this so we can convert it and we can make it so you've got throttle on the left stick and you've got rudder on the right stick makes it far easier to control um, it's more predictable and then it'll come apart what I've done is I've marked positive and negative on here I'll desolder these just to make it easier to work on the circuit board and then in here you'll have I've got three one two three you may have four there's a, looks like there's a hole there for another screw you need to take these out these simply pull off the joysticks they're actually shaped to fit onto these columns so what we're looking at moving is we need to, to swap over these two connections here so what you can see here is this is the base of the of the uh, both pots the your pot and the aileron pot this is a mode 2 controller don't forget uh, this is this is as, as produced by the factory I've just used a desoldering pump and desoldered those and then it's quite simply just being gentle but firm slide a knife in the, sh the finer the better get behind the mechanism and lift it away including the including the rotary part inside the brush brush part inside and then you might need to heat this these pins up and literally you can just pull these just pull these away from the board there you go put that to one side put it in your box and you can reinstall that if you need to you can see now from this white patch here I've actually broken through that track and that track I'm going to jumper the left hand pin to the left hand hole and I'm going to jumper the center pin to the center hole this will put the pot inputs from this side into the rudder side give us some steering the advantage of doing it this way is if you wanted to revert it you can reinstall the pot on this side but you can also build up a solder jumper on each of these tracks so you can repair it as it was if you really wanted to And here you can see I've now jumpered the left pin to the left pin, the center pin to the center pin. I've left the last pin blank because these are already these are on a common common rail anyway. Okay, and that's it, it's pretty much ready to go to go back in and to give it a try. So let's put it back together. perfect these little buttons actually twist off 
and it makes perfect candidates to take a, to take an M3 nylon standoff like these. Here's one I've one I've cut one I've cut down slightly. This needs to be drilled to three mil. Once you've done that, you end up with slightly longer sticks. It feels it does feel more precise even even before you've actually used it. Um, tiny simple little mod but quite effective. I've glued the heads to mine because they are a loose fit but the rest I've just drilled for three millimeters and they're just a push fit in there. There you go, done.